A terrifying scene in Venice Beach, California. The warm summer evening shattered by a driver who plowed right into the crowd. Witnesses say it appears the driver did it all deliberately, aiming to plow into as many people as possible. ABC's Brandy Hit is along that iconic boardwalk in Venice Beach with the latest. Brandy. Good morning, Biana. This boardwalk is still a very active, deadly crime scene. You can see the debris remains in the, on the road behind me as officers now interview a man they call a person of interest in this case. Witnesses described a driver swerving in and out of this crowd, trying to hit as many people as possible. A horrific scene overnight. This car speeding down the boardwalk on Venice Beach and slamming into a group of pedestrians. This morning, eyewitnesses say it was all intentional. I saw him and he, he was looking for blood. That guy, his intention was to kill people. Investigators say the driver fled the scene. Hours later, he turned himself in after allegedly running down at least 12 people, killing one. Thousands of people come here to enjoy the beach and walk and bike and walk their, their dogs. Uh, it's horrendous. World famous for its ocean views and fun atmosphere, the boardwalk was packed Saturday evening. But it all came to a screeching halt by this blue Dodge Avenger, captured in these surveillance images by cameras at Snapchat's beachfront offices. Look here, you can see beachgoers fleeing the path of the oncoming Dodge. He just drove and took that left turn down the center of the boardwalk and just started driving and bodies were scattering and bodies were flying in the air and people were screaming and it was absolute mayhem. Watch again on this surveillance video as he swerves, seemingly aiming for the tightly packed crowd, smashing into gift stands and scattering clothes across the crime scene. The boardwalk was packed with people and he sped up and purposely, it looked like purposely, was just swerving back and forth to run over like, as many people as he could. Eyewitnesses helped the injured until fire crews and paramedics medics arrived. Police are now questioning the man in custody and say they have not determined a motive. So far, no charges have been filed in this case. One of the victims remains in critical condition and two are in serious condition.